Good day. We are Group 2 and together with my group mates, we're here to report about in how to use Nautical Almanac for sextant calculation. So course outcome, know how to use Nautical Almanac for sextant calculations. And learning outcome, students are expected to know how to use Nautical Almanac for sextant calculations. So let's start. How to use Nautical Almanac for sextant calculation. What is sextant? A sextant is a doubly reflecting navigation instrument that measures the angular distance between two visible objects. The primary use of sextant is to measure the angle between the astronomical object and the horizon for the purpose of celestial navigation. So the, the sextant is used to measure the following. Vertical sextant angle or VSA. Personal horizontal sextant angle, or in short, HSA, and altitudes. So next, sextant, making corrections to your measurements. First, adjust for index error if your sextant gives a horizon reading greater or less than zero degrees. Second, correct for dip to account for your distance above sea level. Next is consult the nautical almanac to correct refraction errors. And Use a semi-diameter correction if you're observing the sun or moon. To find out what corrections you need to apply to your altitude measurement depending on the time or of year or pace of the moon. Make a parallel parallax correction using your nautical almanac. And add the parallax correction after adjusting for index, error, dip, refraction, and semi-diameter to get the true altitude of your observed object. And for the next reporter is Cadet Bonafé. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel Earl L. Bonafé and at this juncture, we're going to define what is a nautical almanac. So the nautical almanac contains astronomical information to support bridge crews in routine and emergency celestial navigation as well as the calculation of daylight hours and mandatory gyro checks. It is carried on every ship within the Royal Navy and is at the core of celestial navigational training courses worldwide. So basically, a nautical almanac is a publication describing the positions of a selection of celestial bodies or the purpose of enabling navigators to use celestial navigation to determine the position of their ship while at sea. So next. The nautical almanac includes first the tabulation of the sun and moon, navigational planets and stars to help determine position at sea when using a sextant. Second, times of sunrise, sunset, twilights, moonrise and moonset, phases of the moon and eclipses of the sun and moon to help bridge crews plan observations. Third, interpolation and altitude correction tables, pole star tables and diagrams, and notes for the identification of stars and planets. Fourth is the information on standard times for centuries around the world. And lastly, a concise set of site reduction tables and site reduction forms. I was going to explain the sextant altitude by stars, example number one. So we have given of given of find the altitude of star region on the 16th September 2001, when the sextant altitude was 36 degrees 28 minutes, the height of I was 10.8 meters, and index error was nil. So here's the solution. So the sextant altitude is 36 degrees 28 minutes. Since we don't have an index error, we must proceed directly to the observed altitude, which is 36 degrees 20 minutes. So the dip, HOE or height of I, the given was 10.8 meters. So in the table, on the left side of the PowerPoint, you can see a table here, given by the nautical almanac that 10.8 meters is in between 10.6 and 11.0. So we must get the, mid, the number that's in the middle, which is 5.8. So 36 degrees, 28 minutes, minus 5.8 meters. So we can get the apparent altitude of 36 degrees, 22.2 .2 minutes. So 
there is a total correction. So we can find the total correction, which is in between the 35, 35 degrees, 38 minutes and 37 degrees, 45 minutes, which is the 36 degrees, 22.22 minutes. So we can get a 1.3 minutes with total correction. We must subtract that to the apparent altitude and we can get the true altitude of 36 degrees, 20.9 minutes. So now we move on to our second example, which is the sextant altitudes by the planet. So in here, we have to find the true altitude of planet Venus on the 18th of June 2004, when the sextant altitude was 46 degrees, 17 minutes, and the height of I was 7.9 meters, and our index error was nil or zero. So in here, we have to remember this is where the importance of using the nautical almanac comes in. Without the nautical almanac, without using it as a reference, we wouldn't be able to derive or to get what we're looking for. So in here we have our solution. So first, our sextant altitude, which was given at 46 degrees, 17 minutes. So we're gonna look that on the nautical almanac when we don't have an index error, All right? So. To get our observed altitude, we will be subtracting our index error to our sextant altitude, but because we don't have an index error, then our observed altitude will be the same at 46 degrees and 17 minutes. Moving on to our dip or to our height of I, which is at 7.9 meters. So we're gonna take a look of that in our nautical almanac. So in the conversion of 7.9 in the nautical almanac is at 4.9. So we're going to apply that to our observed altitude, subtract it. So 46 degrees, 17 minutes minus 4.9 minutes, then we will get our apparent altitude, which is at 46 degrees and 12.1 minutes. Next is our total correction. So to get our total correction, we have to refer it to our apparent altitude. So our apparent altitude is at 46 degrees, 12.1 minutes. So we are going to take a look at our nautical almanac and to find where 46 degrees, 12.1 is in. So it is between 45 and 36 minutes and 48 degrees and 47 minutes. So the conversion would be 0.9 minutes. So we're going to apply that to our apparent altitude so 46 degrees 12.1 minutes minus 0 0.9 minutes we would be getting our new apparent altitude of 46 degrees 11.2 minutes next is our additional correction so in here um we are between 34 to 60 because we have an apparent altitude of 46 degrees so we are going to um, add with 0 0.2 so to apply that 46 degrees 11.2 minutes plus 0 0.2 degrees so our true altitude would then be now or would now be then 46 degrees 11.4 minutes so that would be all thank you i hope we all have learned um, a very important thing in this discussion may god bless us all and i hope you continue to stay safe see you in the next one